Foreskin Radio. Who's that handsome devil? Cut or uncut. Actual foreskin not required. What's happened to logic in this world? Uh, this next question reads, Dear Doctor, um... <laughs> Professor's making a fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's camping, bitches. At TNG supermarket. Next question. Okay, dear doctor, I'm <laughs> I'm 20 years old, and I find myself 28. Uh, 28 year old male. Okay. Find myself with the talk t clock ticking, and therefore my parents have put me into an arranged marriage. What? But my dilemma is my true love is with. A white girl. This oh, is from a uh, hurried and curried, hailing, <laughs> hailing from Toronto. <laughs> hurried and curried. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, the best thing for how you. How do you get out of an arranged marriage? Okay, go ahead. Uh, no. Dear. How do you get out of an arranged marriage? That's a legitimate question. I'm a white boy, and the more white girls available is a good thing. So stick with your marriage, okay? I have to take a shit still. But anyway. <laughs> Here's, here's, that, uh, here's my motivation. Advice. Okay, if you do love the chick, love her. The biggest, the best thing for you to do is, um, okay, you gotta realize there's two things. Okay, either a, you stay with the white chick, and uh, if you stay with her, your parents will disapprove and they might disown you. But the minute you have a male son, your family will want you back. <laughs> or you could say, fuck you, bitch, kick that girl to the side, to the curb and get with the Indian girl and live, you never know, you guys might hit it off, you guys might not, but then always in the back of your head, 10, 20 years down the road, you're gonna wonder, would I have been happier with the white girl? Because I loved her. Don't fuck yourself over, man. Do not fuck yourself over. If you love this girl, and if you could see yourself having a, having a future with her, if when you look into her eyes, you see the children that you're gonna have reflected back at your face, don't fuck it up. It's not worth it in the long run. Your parents aren't marrying her. You are. Your parents are going to die in like 20, 30 years. You are going to live for another fucking 50, 60 years. Marry the bitch. That's my advice. Elope if you have to. Your parents might disown you, and so will your grandparents and your family. But you know what? Fuck them, because you only have one life. And take it from me, I've almost died in an operating table getting a pacemaker put in. People trying to satisfy other people for your own happiness is not fucking worth it. You gotta make yourself happy. The minute that male child comes, your <clears throat> family will come crawling. And if a male child doesn't come, and they still ain't having you, well then you know what? They never loved you truly in the first place. It was all based on superficial, pragmatic reasons that are fucking useless. They're trying to impress other people. You gotta ask yourself, I do wanna, you know, uh, make my parents feel proud of me and, you know, happy for me. You could ask your question, your parents this question, and now that you're an adult, you can ask it seriously, Dad, Mom, straight up. Do you care more about my happiness, or do you honestly care what other people think? So much to the point of that you've never been happy, because you've worried about what other people think. You could say I'm young right now, but you know what? I'm not a kid anymore. I'm a man. And if they kick you out of the house, well then, fuck them. That's fine. You could go off with your white girl. But if they say, okay, we see your point, more power to you. Stay with the white bitch, dude. That's my fucking Praise. opinion. Praise! Kill your parents. <laughs> Die, you fucking... <laughs> okay. 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 Next question is actually, question dear Professor. Oh. Hey, this, wow. wait, wait, wait. Hey, this is Professor Best Testies of Foreskin Radio. Bring on your questioning. We're here with sexual advice <laughs> for you. Sex advice. <laughs> all about it. Hey, this I'm one, all this about one reads, it. dear Professor, this is actually a two-part question. Okay. <laughs> Shoot. Um, I want to start a podcast about collecting bottle caps. Oh. Got any advice? And the second part is, will you host my episodes? Oh. Uh, signed, Capcaster from Aberdeen, Washington. Listen, Mr. Aberdeen, Washington, Capcaster. Okay, that's a great idea. Seriously, that's a great idea. You know, you have to have a niche. You have to have a niche. And, and, and your listeners will come to you because uh, where else are they going to find a podcast about bottle caps? Nowhere. <laughs> Nowhere. You cornered the market. Good for you. I'm laughing with you, son. Near. I'm laughing now, with you, son. Now, the thing not is, at you. <laughs> I am not going to go anywhere near a motherfucker who's doing a podcast about bottle caps. I ain't touching that with a 10 fucking foot disease pole. Fucking smallpox. That's what it is. All right. I, I don't want anything to do with it. But that's fine. I'm encouraging you. Do your podcast. Good if, luck anyways. Right. If you can talk about <laughs> bottle caps for 10 minutes, you know, that's great. 
I'm sure that's as long as it's ever gonna be. But that's fine. That's what you want to do. Could I make a comment? What are you, fucking Bert? With your bottle cap collection? Where's Ernie, motherfucker? Oh! Anyway, more power to you. Yeah, more power to you. That's right. Maybe you'll get a bottle cap sponsor. <laughs> you know? And then and then they can host, you know, your bottle cap thing for you. That would be a great idea. You should try it. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. But you know what? Do it. Let me tell you right now. Your thunder's only gonna last for so long. And then, two months down the road, somebody's got a podcast about pogs. Podcast, son. Then what are you gonna do? What are you mother- <laughs> What are you gonna do? What are you motherfucking gonna, gonna do? Turn this bitch motherfucking left. <laughs> I don't know. I would say you probably have as much luck podcasting bottle caps as you would quiche recipes. <laughs> because real men don't eat quiche. They don't eat quiche anymore. I'm sorry. Hey, but it's a great idea. It's all about cornering the market on something. How come they've so never made powerful. cheesecake quiche? Why not? Why cheesecake don't they and make raspberry quiche? I think raspberry quiche would taste really good. I think egg and strawberries is an untapped source of goodness. That's what I think. <laughs> you know what they should have made like that they don't have yet? The bitch and lick it off. You know, like, bitch, take my. That's Sorry, right. On. It's all about food fetishes. If you have a woman who really loves strawberries, but you don't, maybe you like eggs. You can put them together in a quiche, and you can make love between a quiche and strawberry quiche. Love between the quiche. I love between the quiche. You've got to quiche between the sheets. You love the quiche between the seats. I love the quiche, I, I love the quiche, gotta taste the quiche, bitch. In your pussy. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's sign okay, off. What was let's your, wait, 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 what was the Oh, no, no, it was, 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 all right, thank All you right. for your questions. Nope, yeah, thank you actually for your questions. Hey, thanks for your questions. You can send your questions to foreskin at transpondency.com. Keep them coming, motherfuckers. Keep them coming. Uh, yeah. We really thank you for uh, sending them in, and we had a lot of fun answering those questions. And uh, we look forward to the, uh, the next advice. We definitely show. do, okay? And uh, one thing for certain. For sure. Um, ask any question you want. We will on answer them honestly. There will be a bit of comedy there, of course. Motherfuckers, we got to make fun and of you. Possibly but controversy. Possibly controversy. Possible controversy. Possibly Possible. controversy. Controversy. Possibly controversy. Possible controversy. 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 Thank you.